Hello everybody and welcome back to another weird part of the games. But this time it's the unlucky number of 13. Now of course 13 it means very unlucky, so today we are going to play something that's very weird and some people believe is never seen in America. It is called, and this is by its English name, and I think I'm going to pronounce it correctly, The Legend of, I'm going to pronounce it as Nijin. Basically, it was also based off a TV show, but this time it took stuff from computer entertainment, or just C&E's, Finishing Born, which was another bootleg. So yeah, there's our main character right there, looking, looking like a sissy baka. She looks like out of the space of nothing is but black. And yeah. Oops, I accidentally went to my save file. Wow, that's a save file. Oh yeah, right, they switched it up again, like they did in Final Fantasy Legends 3. Let's see, more Chinese, more Chinese. And yeah, apparently what's supposed to be a female is, uh, I guess, a male. Oh, nice, I finally start making stuff more like actual RPGs where you can get stuff in chess. And now scroll trigger it trigger in this way. Yeah. This looks more like... And if I told you he, she would look like a male, she, she looks like a male. And oh my goodness, they really had exactly the same issue. But yeah, they just reused the tile screen. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sinjin Nanjing. Okay, save this. What is this? Armor. You're, you're a P, and you're saving. So yeah, it's a pull down menu. Just going downstairs. Let's see, the healing is over here. Oh yeah, now I figured out how to buy multiple stuff, you just push on this air D-pad button. And buy as much as you can. Just adjusting headsets. There you go. So yeah, this character's a male for no reason. Can't go there. Oh, sorry, I was just uh, readjusting. Sometimes it slips. You know, so they took the water from Final Fantasy. Yeah, just get ready for that. Also, let me just show you off a random encounter. Is it seriously gonna be around here somewhere? Sounds like a chuckle theme. Well, here's the actual me without anything going over it. I do not want to go inside. Come on, where's a random encounter? See, so yeah, like I said before, this is based off a TV series. And I just read just the headset. Come on, I know there's random encounters in this area. So, I don't know what to do, so basically I'm just going to be wandering around for random encounters. Yeah, I know I can go there. Compost.
your mom. <laughs> Yeah, so they have exactly the same issue as Golden Sun. Yeah, I'm leaving, but hey, who do I need to talk to? Because others I cannot get past the areas. Am I just supposed to talk to everybody in this village? Yeah, I can walk over some of these crops now. Nothing. That's the end. Yeah, let's leave. This sounds always like the Chuckle War theme. So I guess the only thing to do is just walk around and wait till we I get to our random encounter. Which may take a while. But it's bound to happen. Like, what's this, like, it's nothing. Oh, come on, I know there's been random encounters around here. Hmm, that's quite strange, I don't know how to leave. Okay, so it says to walk this way, but... There's nothing. There's just nothing. So I'm supposed to do in the village, because the game keeps on killing me to go back to the village, but for what? I mean, maybe I don't even have enough armor yet. Well, that would be good if I didn't waste it all. Let's see the current armor. HP, MP. There you go, game. Are you happy? <laughs> now we want full armor. Okay, so let's sell this. Mm, to get the least armor, sell 30. Walking across, walking across. This is the armory. Ah, it's a lot of cost. Now, at least this music is quite annoying. Wait till you hear the bell theme, which is probably going to take about half the speed just to get to. Okay, game, I know. 
I don't even know how to get past this area. Ah, uh, yeah, there's been no terrorama counters in this area. As I played this game before I record, in fact, that's what I do with every single game, as I play it before I record, so I know at least some of the knowledge beforehand. Why do you want me to go back to the village again? There's nothing here. Hmm, this game is really getting confusing by this point. So what do you want? Now I want you to leave, but uh... Oh, uh, you're yeah, just walking around the village. You know, I should probably waste about half this video just fucking... So okay, warning, this next part may be a little bit too boring, so you can skip up so you can skip to the battle part. Yeah, so what I'm just doing right now is trying to get a random encounter. Yeah. Is there I know there's random encounters, but why is the game not giving it? Hmm. I wish I had a Google Translate on. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do in this game. And I'm just gonna walk around, talk to every single NPC. Cause I know in the last one brief Brave Rouse saga of uh, what I just played recently, I know that you have to talk to a specific character just to get something done. Anything change? No. Did anything change outside? Oh, now you can finally go there. 
Oh yes, Pokemon theme. Oh, I died. What kind of a snitch is that? Oh, finally, so you talk to some guy, and then you go under the seat. Finally. Let's talk to this random guy's house. This time. slightly longer just because of this annoyingism. Baby. So what are you telling me? Okay, you're supposed to talk to all the family members. Okay, maybe that just triggers one of the events. Why did Sinjin Nyanjang even do this? Let me just talk to this guy. 
This has probably been the most confusing game of all time. Out of all of them. But hey, at least you saw the battle. I think I just put my save point over here. No, I don't want to save again. But anyway, guys, that was about it. I will see you on Weird Party Games number 14. Bye!